Uh, you know, I was a uh, whole lot of emotions going on. I started shaking. Uh, so I was upstairs sitting in my parents' room with my dad, just kind of quiet. And I was a little down right now. And then uh, his phone blew up and looked at it. It was Virginia number. And he was like, is, it, is this it? My dad asked me. And I was like, yeah, this is it. And I ran downstairs and just a whole lot of emotions. And just being able to talk to the head coach, owner, GM, O-line coach. It was just, just couldn't thank him enough for this opportunity. You said Coach uh, Coach Gruden was talking to you on the phone. Yeah, yeah. What, what did he say to you? He said, "Hey Ross, you know this is Jay Gruden with the Washington Redskins, and uh, we're going to take you um, here in the draft. So uh, are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Can't wait to get out there." And then Pat passed me off to, like I said, the uh, owner and GM and um, O line coach. So just ready to get to work. Yeah, I'm sure uh, kind of the build up leading up to this point has been a little nerve wracking for you. Absolutely. Yeah, just. Uh, Having to wait and just everyone's here, you know, anxious, just like I am. And you just want the best possible situation to happen. And um, I think it did. So I just, uh, the wait was worth it. And I'm just ready to get out there. And they got, I think, like eight other guys from Alabama out there. So uh, I'm ready to get to work with those guys. Um, it must mean a lot to see so many people from the community yeah. here to, to support you. Absolutely. Yeah, just uh, growing up here and everything and just all the connections that I built and Everyone who's helped me out along the way just meant a lot to me to bring them out here and just sort of have them celebrate with me and just really just be a thankful invite to them as well and just um, thanking them for everything that they've done and to help me get to this point. So it wasn't just me, it wasn't just my family, it was the whole community that helped me get to this point and I was just super, super thankful for them and just really wanted to uh, thank them in this way. Being a Cedar Falls athlete, obviously we saw, you know, athletic director now, Troy Becker. Um, a couple of your football coaches yeah. were here. Um, someone that's not here, Pat Mitchell. I'm sure he would have uh, absolutely just been beaming today. Yeah, yeah just uh, come so far, you know, and uh, Coach Mitch just helped me out so much throughout the way. And I was super close with him and just every little piece of knowledge that he had. I just loved sticking around him and tried to grow. and. Uh, he was such a big part of you know this process for me and just can't thank him enough and i know like you said he's looking down and super proud so i uh, just excited for the community yeah i think that was always kind of the goal for me to play in the nfl uh, i was always a college football guy just as far as a fan but um i knew that that was my ultimate goal and football was just my passion and everything that i did in my life it revolved around football and all the choices that i made and just worked so hard up to this point and i knew that this was the payoff and so um I'm just excited to get this opportunity, you know, so it means a lot. What's the next step for you? Uh, work out here. Enjoy enjoy the day with uh, family and friends again, and um, and then get to work. Go start working out, get in shape, and getting ready to roll. Uh, May 9th, we got to be out there for rookie mini camp, so mini camp, and then um, workouts this summer. Uh, this will be my first year, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, I'm just got to play it by ear and see what happens and just make the most out of it. I know uh, your goals probably don't change, whether it's Cedar Falls High School or going yeah. to Alabama or moving on to this next level. Um, what does that mean for you from a goal standpoint? Uh, just for me, go in and just be a great teammate, great leader, and um, earn the respect from the older veterans and also go in there to compete. I mean, I think that's why they drafted me. Uh, had a talk with the O-line coach, and he's, he's ready for me to come in and um, just compete at a high level and be ready to plug and play. And so that's my goal is to be able to you know, go out there and be a starter. So. Man, that was, uh, that was pretty intense for everybody. Just uh, the anticipation and waiting and you knew he, he, he thought anywhere from third to round five and, and we're getting into the middle of round five or so. And, and to see him come down with the phone to his ear was, a, was an exciting time. And then to, to officially see it happen, Washington Redskins pick 153, that's awesome. As his high school coach, you know, um, obviously that means a lot to you, I know, just personally, to have uh, seeing him come through your program and then just continue to be a hard worker and a great example in everything he does. Absolutely. All the work he put in, uh, being a ninth grader getting moved up, all the games he played for us, what he did at Alabama, uh, and how he's represented himself over the years has been fantastic. Uh, just a just awesome for our program. Uh, I know Mitch is upstairs smiling down, you know, looking down from heaven, and because he was a big part of that too. And when we worked with working with Ross for those years, uh, it's just, it's just great for CF, our community, especially for Ross and his family. What what a great deal! And 
to get an opportunity to go play in the NFL, something he's dreamed about since he was a little kid growing up. Uh, just a fantastic deal. Uh, now, I'm, I'm just guessing on this one. I'm guessing that you probably don't own any Redskins gear. I, I don't right now. As a lifelong Vikings fan, uh, you know, I'm going to have to pick up some of that Redskins gear. So uh, already checking dates to see when he's coming down, maybe to the Midwest to, to play some games and see if we can't get out and watch him a little bit. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah. First time I've ever been part of a draft party and really cool that it's somebody you know that, that's being drafted and how exciting it is. And I know Ross is a little bit nervous, but man, this was just awesome. And I know he's excited and I know he's going to make the uh, Redskins a better team. I know um, you've been getting to be his coach, you know, for a period of four years in that high school span. Obviously, it means a little bit more to you than uh, just the rest of us, maybe us in the community. Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I think it's cool that I had a front row seat when he was in high school and I could watch all the cool things that he did. And um, he let me be part of the college experience in terms of keeping me informed about the cool things that he was going through. But... I, I think he's been an awesome uh, ambassador to our whole community. I mean, Cedar Falls should be proud. He represents himself not only great on the field, but he does an awesome job off the field. I mean, he's such a good kid. And, and I think that's the most important thing. I mean, not only did he go to Alabama and, and show that he's a really talented athlete, but he showed himself to be a really quality individual. And he's represented our community, our state. I mean, anybody who knows him, knows what kind of a kid he is and I think that's the most important thing and he's 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 earned everything he's gotten everything so I know uh I, I think I've heard the story from when he was a freshman in high school yeah and you uh talked to coach Mitch about it yeah Mitch asked me to go up and watch him at camp and basically the question was whether or not he could come up and compete in the high school level as a ninth grader whether he could play varsity football 4a so I had to go watch him at UNI and I, I watched him participate in a football camp and they were putting him against men. I mean, these kids were 17, 18 years old. And here he is a 15 year old uh, freshman and he's over there and he's doing a pretty good job and he's holding his own and, and winning more than he's losing. And I go down and I talk to Mitch and Mitch says, what do you think? I said, I'm pretty sure he can play with us. Is you sure he'll be safe? I said, well, I'm pretty sure if, he, if we let him play with those other ninth graders, they're not going to be safe. So we probably better bring him with us. And he's done a tremendous job since then. Yeah, talented kid. Started for four years with Cedar Falls. Started for four years with Alabama. You know, four national championship games. That's... Is that incredible or what? I mean, the kid started in four national championship games. He's the he's two-time national champ. Four years in high school. I mean, he knows how to win. And most importantly, he knows how to work to succeed. And that's what he does. He works and works and works. And not just, you know athletically and all the things he has to do there but he worked at academically he's got his master's degree I mean what a tremendous young guy and and just so proud of him couldn't couldn't be more proud of him what does this mean for you know other Cedar Falls athletes football players that have seen this example go before them pretty sure every kid in Cedar Falls knows who Ross Pierce Baker is I I literally just got a text message from my 13 year old that was all excited and awesome and tell Ross congratulations. And I think these kids can look up and they can say, you know what, if we really want something, this guy set kind of shows us what the, the, the path is. Work hard, do the right things, and you can achieve whatever goals you want. And he's had this as a goal. I mean, from ninth grade, probably before, that he wanted to be the best football player he could be and he wanted to get to the NFL. And here he is. and and. You know, he's, he's enjoying the fruits of his labor today, so that's awesome.